Hey, it's Jim Eber with Cancer Can Rock. Today we have Seth Lukash in the studio doing his song, Don't Know When She Rises. It's turning out great, and I'm hoping you guys like it. Hey, Seth, how you doing? I'm doing good, Jim. We have you in here today, and we are doing your song. Don't Know When She Rises. It sounds great. We put it together. Thank you. We've had a good time. Yeah. Uh, we're hoping you like it. Um, what type of cancer do you have? I have uh, metastatic kidney cancer, stage four. So where has it metastatic to? <laughs> yes. Um, in my lungs. Okay. And I had a, an operation this past March where they took out part of my lung and um, hopefully they got it all. Well, that, yes. <laughs> yes, we do. So are you in treatment right now or? They don't. Um, Kidney cancer doesn't respond to chemo or radiation. Okay. Um, they treat what's called measurable disease. Okay. Um, so I get scanned, um, body scan, uh, every three months. Okay. And um, they're looking for growth. And when they see growth, they have some um, immunotherapy and some other targeted treatments that they use, but they're they're tough. Okay, overall, how are you feeling? I feel good, especially after today. Oh, uh, well, good. This. It, it, like it's been a pleasure meeting you, obviously, but no, but obviously the it's always the worst circumstance. So, yeah. you know, when when I when I have people in and I just am talking to them and hearing the horror they're going through, because I went through it, but I don't. It's so long ago to me that it seems like another another lifetime. Um, so tell, tell me what this song is about to you. Yeah. So um, I wrote the song just a few months ago, actually, and it's about. Really, at the end of the day, it's about faith, but it's also about the different stages that people go through that I am going through um, when confronted with an illness like this. Right. And um, But it's actually an optimistic song because I look back at my life and I really feel blessed. Right. I really do. Um, so it, it ends with an appreciation of everything. Then I have to write a song similar to that. Uh, I had uh, 19 year brain cam cancer, camp, camper, sorry, <laughs> 19 year brain cancer survivor. That's amazing. And I feel blessed. I don't want to die, but if I check yeah. out tomorrow, I'm like, I'm good. I, I've, That's how I feel. I've exactly. Done, I've, I've done it. And uh, we talked briefly about this earlier, um, just the how freeing it is to lose the fear of yeah, dying. Exactly. And so in a way, cancer is an odd gift. Right. You know what I mean? Oh, I never absolutely. thought about it because when you're when you're not when you don't, when you're not sick, um, you know, obviously uh, you don't want to die, but you, you have a different. I had a different perspective on it. Uh, it took me probably two or three years of having cancer to get to that point. Uh, but once I felt like I was going to survive, and I didn't really, I didn't really give it any weight. Do you know what I mean? I didn't yeah. give my, I didn't give my cancer any weight. Right. And I just sort of had this thing that opened up and said, I'm, I'm just letting the BS roll by. And I, I, if I go tomorrow, great. Not great. Let me rephrase it. If I go yeah. tomorrow, so be it. Right. I've had a, I've had a, you know, a, a great life. Uh, again, I don't want to go tomorrow, but if that's what happens, that's what happens. Yeah. And, and like you said, we talked about it, but it is freeing. It yes. really is. There's this perspective you get. And I, I was saying it's like this, almost a dichotomy, dichotomy because you feel this peace um, and acceptance, and it's good because you feel blessed, and your tolerance for BS goes right. way down, Correct. right? Because it doesn't matter. Right. The stuff just doesn't matter. Um, and to keep the toxic stuff out of your life um, is so much easier. And it's good for you. And it's good for you, too. Health-wise. Yeah. So what we're saying, everybody, is to go ahead and get cancer. It's really good. <laughs> yeah, right. Um, <laughs> the song sounds great. Like I told, like I, I mentioned that. to you that everybody that comes in and plays, they're sweethearts. They're amazing players, amazing people, and and we just try to set it up so you have an amazing time. Well, um, and I mentioned this to you before too. Uh, my wife just texted me and asked me how it was going. And I said, it's one of the best days of my life. That's why we're here. 
It really is. The, you, you need to start crying. You need uh, to start crying. Just okay, choking okay, up right. a little bit. This way. <laughs> <laughs> um, and it really is. And it's not, it's it's the experience, but I think more over, more over than that, it was the people, um, yourself, the musicians, the engineer, right. everybody. They're just the phenomenal people. Right. And um, as I'm, you know, singing and doing the different takes and listening to different parts, it's almost like a dream. I'm really living the dream. So, and um, that's, I can't say enough about you. I can't say enough about the organization. Well, yeah, you can. I'm really the people. <laughs> 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 um, and that's that's really true. It's it's really been just a phenomenal experience. Well, good, that's what, it, what it's supposed to be. Uh, your song sounds great. We've had a great time making it. Um, Got a little bit more to do, not much. Um, and we look forward to putting this out so your family, friends, everybody can see it. The world can see it for what I'm, it's worth. I'm very excited about that. Well, like I well said. good. My, we are so, so glad to have you in today, man. It's been a pleasure. All it right. really has. Thank you.